All right, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use one of these guys, which is your push behind spreader for seeds and fertilizer. But before we get into it, do me a huge favor, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned, we're about to get started. All right guys, so there's not a lot to these particular machines. Um, what you really have here is you have a lever here that opens and closes several holes that are at the base of the bucket here. So when you pull this closed, it closes them, opens, it opens them. You've then got a rod that connects this lever down to um, the little thing that opens and closes. And then down here at the bottom, you have the blades that spin around and throw your seed. What exactly do you have to know about when you're using this piece of equipment? Well, there's not a whole lot. Like I said, first of all, one thing you need to know is that you need to set the correct depth on this lever here. Now, let's get a closer look at what that actually is. All right, guys, so on this little dial here are numbers, and these numbers represent how wide or how small the holes at the in the bottom of the bucket are going to be. Now, on the back, back of each bag of either seed or fertilizer, there's going to be a label that will show you exactly what depth you need to set this at, but setting it is fairly simple. So you're gonna have a knob here that you loosen and tighten. So in order to set this, say example, I wanna set it to 15. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen this, I'm gonna slide it, until the front of this piece of plastic lines up with the 15. Then I'm simply gonna tighten this down. Now, sometimes these slip, so sometimes I tighten them with pliers, but we're just gonna finger tighten this for now. So, what happens then? Well, when I pull this back, it opens the holes in the bucket only to 15. So, that is important because if you're not setting this dial correctly, you're gonna be spreading completely wrong amount of seed or fertilizer, which can really damage your lawn. All right, so once you've made sure that your, uh, your little lever here is set correctly to the right amount, you're gonna wanna make sure that the rod here is not too badly bent. Now, you can see here there's a little bit of bending here, but that's nothing severe. Essentially, what you wanna make sure is that you're not, is that the holes in the base of this bucket are closing all the way. Because if they're not closing all the way, that can be a serious problem if you're spilling fertilizer or other pesticides or whatever all over the place. So if this rod is badly bent, sometimes these, these little levers, these little holes in the bucket will either stay opened or closed and that can actually be a problem. So you wanna make sure that, um, that your, your rods there are not too badly bent and then you wanna make sure that the, um, the little panel down here, the table with the blades on it is actually spinning. So that's real simple because when you spin the tires, the, um, the little table down there should spin and spread um, and that's what spreads the seed. So once you have kind of a systems check and you make sure your piece of equipment is in operational order, let's look at how to actually use this tool to walk back and forth. All right guys, so using this piece of equipment is really very simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bag of fertilizer, seed, whatever, you're gonna fill this bucket up to roughly two to three inches below the top. You never wanna fill it all the way up to the top because then you risk spilling your seed or spilling whatever and it becomes a problem. But once you have that decently full, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab both handles with your hands and you're gonna hold them near your waist. This is how to incorrectly do it. You're like, okay, I'm ready to walk. You open the lever, you stand there for a sec, then you start walking. Never do that. What will happen is the seed will start to fall through the, to the holes immediately and it will pool there. So if you have fertilizer, that can burn the lawn and be a problem. What you wanna do is as you begin to walk, you pull the lever. So this looks like this. So I'm starting to walk and now I pull the lever open. And what that does is that engages the spinning blades so that when they, once the seed starts to spill out, the blades are already spinning and it's spreading your fertilizer correctly. Now, couple things to note. When you're walking, you wanna make sure that you keep the legs at a correct level so it's spreading the seed nice and evenly. If you hold it up like this, it's gonna shoot it straight down. If you hold it at a weird angle, it's gonna shoot it poorly and all over the place. The key thing a lot of people do is they hold it too high and that shoots the seed or the fertilizer straight in front of them. Don't do that. You wanna hold it so it's a little bit of an angle so the seed or the fertilizer arches out and is distributed nice and evenly. So it looks like this, keeping it nice and low and nice and level. Another thing to note is that the distance the seed or, or fertilizer is thrown is determined by how fast you walk. So if you walk really, really fast, what that does is that spins the blades very quickly which throws the seed a lot further. But if you walk really, really slow, it's gonna be a problem too because the seed is just gonna kind of fall out and pool near the tires. And that can be a problem if you're spreading fertilizer because it will burn certain areas of the lawn. So you wanna walk at a nice, consistent, steady pace. 
that's going to allow the seed to, or fertilizer to be thrown in an even distribution pattern and then that will allow you to get even rows to allow for the maximum effect of whatever you're spreading. So that's about it guys. These spreaders are great. They get the job done very quickly. But hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You want to purchase any of this stuff, check in the description below. Other than that, have an awesome day. I'll see you in the next video.